Smith. Okay. Takes a feud with Jason Whitlock to a new level in explicit filed rant. Now, a little background on this first. Y'all remember Cat Williams going on um, Shay Shay Show? Mm -hmm. Um, Shannon. Now, y'all remember Shannon and Stephen Smith were partners on ESPN. Oh, okay. Remember they had to show they... And and, uh, and yeah. Shannon left and did his own thing. He got his own show. And he's okay. gotten over 40 million views alone from that Cat Williams uh, wow. thing. Which they estimate has made him more than a million dollars. Wow. Just from that one Just interview. That one interview. Now, yeah. he said after that interview, a few people called him who were haters. <laughs> and he said, I'm not going to say no names, but they pretty much said I did a horrible job of interviewing. And they would have done a better job. You can't do a horrible job. And people he, just don't bring it in trip. I believe everything Cat said. And he was said he, that. Was he, was he foolish to uh, do that? He doesn't even care. See, people don't know Cat Williams pays producers all his shows. Girl, I want to talk about Cat Williams. Nobody. I don't want to talk about Cat Williams. Williams. Cause Cat Williams, he, I, I'm I'm pro and con with Cat Williams. I love Cat Williams, but I know when Cat Williams is lying because I'm in the comedy industry. Anyway, so uh, he so Sam was lying. saying that he was getting all these people that was hating on him, right? So then he wouldn't say the name of the person who was hating on him. Okay. But the people in the comment section I guess. kept saying Stephen Smith. Oh and Shannon said they know who it is. So that makes me leads me to believe it was Stephen. Stephen Smith was one of the people that was hating on him. Wow. So because of that interview, a lot of people feel like Stephen drummed up this whole thing with um, Jason so he can get ratings. And he is getting wow. ratings because millions of people are viewing into this. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, so it's everybody doesn't feel the same way. Yeah. And That's a conspiracy like theory. My my son is a comedian, knows Cat Williams. Wendy, personally. he's not talking about yeah. Cat Williams. We're talking about Stephen A. Smith I, and Jason I Whitlock. Know, what what happened? Is I, my point is, I don't think Che did a bad job. That is my No, point. no, he didn't. Right. But I'm saying that Stephen Smith is what people throwing are saying about is him. throwing shade on him. Oh. And so that's why he decided to have his go after um, Jason Whitlock. Because he wants to drum up his Who um, is Jason thing. Whitlock. Now that's what I was going to talk about. about so Stephen A. Smith, Jason, uh, Stephen A. Smith danced around the subject, but he no longer held back regarding his feud with fellow sports personality Jason Whitlock. So Jason Whitlock is another guy on ESPN who is a sportscaster. He has a famous show, too. Okay. okay. I've seen him. You've seen, seen him. So he's yeah. famous, too. Okay, so he got to the point where Smith called Whitlock, who claimed the former wrote lies in his... Stephen Smith wrote a book, okay, okay, about his life and his mother and everything else. Okay. And Jason Whitlock pretty much said he lying. <laughs> so that made Stephen Smith oh. is upset. Oh. He's now he can't stay. He didn't like him before. Okay. But now he says, I'm no longer holding back. I'm going after him every chance I get. And he pretty much called this man the worst human being in the world. Okay. He called him a fat everything. Oh. He called him all kind of names. Oh, wow. He cussed him he out. A big guy. Son of a bee. Ooh. If I see you, you better never run into me. I'm going to punch you in your face. He can't stand Jason Whitlock now. Is this partly to try to get... That's, that's, not, that's, that's why I started off by saying that. Huh? That's not very professional, man. He I agree. That I agree. He's probably trying to get rated. No, I mean, I don't agree with everything Stephen A. Smith says, but I do like him. But why would he stoop down to that level and make himself come down that low? Just no. Just to He's get got better words than a good yeah. vocabulary. He more intelligent. He didn't have to do that. Well, That's Jason Whit Jason Whitlock said, um, Smith um preface um pre Smith's preface rant. It's not a name that I've uttered. I normally don't do that, but it was necessary to do now. I've had enough of that fat B. That piece of S H I T. Oh, this no. is um, no, no, Stephen no, no, talking no. about Jason Whitlock, oh, and I want to make no. sure that before I go to break, I want anyone out there who watches me, anyone out there who knows me, anyone out there, no matter what you think of me, 
I want you to remember, I never talk about him. I never talk about my colleagues. I don't do that. This is the first, but it's necessary. And I and a lot of people think it's necessary because of the club Shay Shay thing. And now I got to get my ratings up because now everybody's watching Stephen Smith for him to go in on Jason. People like mess. They do. So people gonna tune in and say, "What you gonna say about Jason Whitlock tonight?" Let's watch. So he's getting millions it's like of a views. Tennis match. He's getting millions he of views. Go back. What you gonna do? Okay. Smith added that he called a bunch of people, including his pastor before he went on this rant and said to, to let them know that he was going to go off on um, Jason Whitlock. Oh, he's going to let the pastor know. He warned his hey, pastor. pastor. I'm going to tell him off and call him all kinds of names. He said, you can call my pastor if you want. I called him and told him I was going to go off on Jason Whitlock. Does that Whitlock. really matter, though? Because it's between you and God, man, not your pastor. No, I just think he's better than Asian. Smith said... Smith said Whitlock was worse than white supremacists. He also noted that there is a stipulation in his contract that he will not work with him. Don't ever put us on the same set. Don't put him in the same building. If I'm in there, I don't want to be anywhere near him. So he hates Jason Whitlock now. Is he going to do that extreme just to get the It's viewers? too extreme. Because all he, said, all he said was that he was lying in his book. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephen took it personal. Yeah, he said, the book, I talked, the book I talked about my mother? How dare you say I'm How lying? How dare you say I'm lying? Fat so whatever. now, yeah, fat, you piece of essay, got all this stuff. <laughs> so now oh, Jason Lord, Smith Jesus. and, and um, I mean, um, Stephen Smith and Jason Whitlock are in this battle. Two black men on ESPN and Stephen's ratings are going up. Now everybody, because everybody like mess, is waiting to hear what Shannon has to say. <laughs> is Shannon going to come and say, Oh, all of a sudden, people got major beefs on television <laughs> once I hit 40 million. Uh huh. So I'm just going to say, it's just me. And if Jason even come back and after the lie comment. If Jason is going to come back and he, say he something. He may not even say anything. I don't know. But this is all to get ratings and viewers. It's ratings. And lift your, I know. It's ratings. It's sad, Wendy, you're right, that they they go that low. Don't, don't they not, do they not listen to Michelle Obama? Right. When they go low, you go high. Right. Yeah, Christopher came in and said hello. Hey, Christopher. It's not fair to jump on Shay just because you don't like Kat. That, that's what they do. Well, they tell him that his interview was I don't think Stephen did that. I think he going. I think he was saying that because he's jealous because Shannon left and is doing his own thing, and he got a lot of views. And he's blowing up from that. He's blowing up. That's a lot yeah. of money for one show. That is. You know? Yeah. So. When Stephen was on his show, the ratings wasn't that high. Either. Right, right. Okay. But if anybody wants to go back and look at whatever we talked about regarding Cat Williams, we did two shows. We're not taking Cat Williams until next week. I, I've seen people on no, Facebook no, no, going, my, can I we leave Cat Williams in this my week, play, please? My point was really shame more than Cat Williams. Oh. You know, because I felt that people were coming down on him because they don't like Cat Williams. Oh, that yeah, no. No. I don't know Cat Williams, uh, I don't think he needs my help because he's a bad brother. Right. <laughs> it was straight shit. I didn't like them saying that he did a bad interview because that's uh-huh. not true. He did. He did a good, right. I think he did fine. Yeah. I mean, you gotta remember the way Cat was coming at him. Just imagine I'm talking to you about your sister. Your sister this, your sister that on your show. That would make you very uncomfortable. Right. So he was trying to let Cat give out give out everything he wanted to give out. But he's friends with Steve Harvey, he's friends with some of them people. So they had to be very uncomfortable for letting him hear Cat say all that stuff. Right. What could he say? He well, I'll say this. He wanted to let him do it so he would get the ratings, and he did get the ratings. Gave him the platform, right? You know, he had to let he had to let Cat get that out, and he wouldn't have an interview. Well, I would say this. I would say this because we're talking more about um, um, Shannon. Mm -hmm. Shannon said, for his defense. He's not that type of interviewer. He's not the one that would come. Because I guess what Stephen was saying, there okay. were things Kat was saying that was not true. And he wanted um, he wanted Shannon to call him out on it. Because mm-hmm. what it ended up making it seem with black people mm-hmm. would run with everything was that Kat no, was saying the truth. And everybody. 
everything was true, and that because um, Shannon didn't call him out on stuff, Stephen probably it made was. it sound like everything he Kat was saying was true. Right. Right. Stephen probably yeah. would have called him out though. Stephen would have called him out yeah, because, yeah. but that's not the right have. interview. That's yeah. what, I like what Shannon did. He let him out. Yeah. He let yeah. him talk. Yeah. Let's let no, him Stephen talk. Stephen would have tried to crush him. Yes. Yeah. Stephen would have. You would have just said he was mad. You just mad. You know. He would have. He would have said that, but he also would have called him out on things that we know is not true. He would have said things like, "You've taken jokes. You took JB Smooth's joke." Cap, he would have said stuff like, "Cap, um, Chappelle wore a dress on Howard Stern." Cap so would say he well, never wore dresses. Cap was smart enough to go on the right show. Cap was on hard drugs. That's not true. He's a pothead. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know that. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. He's not on my drugs. We don't know. He probably was wise to go on Shannon's show. There are no receipts for that. We don't know. No, I'm telling you, you talked on the show. I know, but we don't know. I'm never going to say anybody never did drugs. I don't know. You can't say that. I don't know. I wouldn't bet. I don't say I don't believe he did. Right. I don't believe he did. He's not the kind of addict people tried to make him out to be. Right, right. True. but he has some issues. He has some issues, though. See, I knew this was going to turn into oh, well, a talk about Cat it. Williams. But go ahead. I, and I don't want to talk about Cat Williams. No, I'm saying the issues that he had when they showed him almost like strung. He was sitting there like strung out kind of thing, and he right. got the physical he thing with somebody. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we move on. Uh, enough. Two weeks. I'm done with Cat Williams. <laughs> 